Hello everyone and welcome to section 2. And in this section, we will be talking about C Sharp and the language itself and how to use it. So we will start with the first video, creating variables and types. So what are the variables? During our work, we will need somehow to have values stored inside of variables that we can reuse later. For instance, if I have a value of an integer, like one or two or three, and I need to reuse it again in somewhere else inside of my code. So in this video, we will talk about creating a variable. We will show that too the types of variables that are available and how to use them. So I have set up already a project that is already for us to start working on. Now that we have the main program opened, as we have seen before, so how do I define a variable? First thing, I gotta say the type of the variable. In this case, I'm gonna start with an integer, which is short for end, and this is how we define an integer. Then we define the name of the variable. For instance, for this, I will name it counts. And this is how we actually define an integer. We just close the statement with a semicolon and that's it. But as you can see, there is a warning because I didn't assign any value to this integer. So I'm gonna just assign it any value. In this case, an integer, that means a number, so I'm gonna go for three, for instance. For otherwise, we have also other types of variables. For instance, we have a string, which represents any type of text. For the string, the text needs to be surrounded by double quotations, which looks like this. So in this case, that's a string, but as you can see, it's empty. And now I'm just gonna assign it a name and it will be Alex and hit the semicolon. Now that I have created two variables, I also have another variable type, which is very used, which is the character. And it's short as cha. And then I see this character, I'll name it character. And I'll give it the value of C. But here I cannot just use the same thing as in string. So I use a single quotation to surround the character. So now that I have created the variables, I need to make sure that everything is working fine. So I'm gonna build the project. To build the project, I go to the build menu, select build solution, and watch the output window down here. As you can see, I have build succeeded. So now that we have used the variables and we knew the types of variables we could use, 